All right, we're going to do an unboxing. This is from my buddy Paul. Um, not sure what's in here. He just sent me a tracking number. Nothing said. So uh, let's tear into this and see what we got. Open up both ends of this and see if we can push out whatever it is. There we go. All right. Get out. I've been talking with him on Facebook. We were talking about these old flint strikers. I think they're from back in the 50s. And he asked me if I had one. We got talking about prices on them. Hell, the prices are really going up on them. Some people think they got a gold mine. I mean, they're all over the board, but they're all fairly expensive. A couple days later, he sent me a link to an auction or not a link just a picture of one that for dirt cheap and uh, a day or two later he just sent me a tracking number nothing said so I had no idea that he was going to send it well that he bought it for me this is the I think this is the Colligan brand if I'm not mistaken yeah I can see it barely see it on there Colligan they're pretty neat. So what do you say we uh, see if we can fire up a stove with this thing? Maybe have as a coffee challenge. All right, got my old British number no. six military stove. Already got alcohol in a preheat cup. Let's see if we can ignite that alcohol. Took a few strikes there. I had to get it at the right angle, but it did it. All right, we'll let that preheat. We'll let the alcohol burn completely out, and then we'll see if we can spark a flame on top with it. All right went completely out very nifty all right before we go any further with this coffee challenge we well, got to do something with these boys on the back of the bus they're they're feeling pretty dim right now and I know it Infinity match, already got alcohol on it. All right, Old green 200A for the boys on the back of the bus. My 
Coleman fireplace kettle again. It's getting to be my go-to kettle. I really like it thing. Community coffee. Open my little flap on the lid so I can see the steam coming out. Once it starts to steam, it's gonna be good enough for me. Close it for now to hold some of that heat in, get a little quicker boil. Speaking of boil, maybe if we turn this thing up a little bit. Still had it on low. Got my infinity match here. These are handy. Sold a lot of these so far. I want to put a link in the description to my Facebook Tools of the Trade page. And you all can um, go on there and you can personal message me from there for, to purchase one of these. And uh, it's actually cheaper to buy two. A little, little deal on two of them, combined shipping. So. They're, they're handy. All right, the guys on the back of the bus. I love you guys. This has got to go. It's 90 degrees in the shade. Enough of the heat. Whoa, you see that? Good catch. That could have got ugly quick. All right, I'm going to get me some... Uh, I'm out of four alt steel wool right now, but I'm gonna get me some steel wool, some mother's mags if I clean it up a little bit. I gotta do a little research on that. There's that. I gotta figure out how to change that flint. I'm assuming that's got something to do with it there. Yeah. yeah there's the flint. Not too hard. Not so much for the research on that. Just had to push it forward to unlatch it. So, uh, heck yeah. Clean it up a little bit. Paul, really appreciate you, buddy. So this cup's going to go out to you. I'm going to put a uh, link in the description for Paul's channel. It's just his name for his channel name, and I'm really not sure how he pronounces his last name, so I'm not even going to try, but I will put it in the description and the title. All right. Just remember, not a Stobie. All right. Y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.